son. NPC coming through with that fresh hardware. What you know about that, boy? hood done finally so this stuff has definitely had plenty enough time to harden and it's rock solid now i've tried sanding on it and it's not gumming up anymore all right so we do have a pretty big lip right here we need to work that back down so i'm going to be starting off using my da this is a 120 grit sandpaper on there um, and it's just to kind of take that surface down a little bit i don't want to take it all the way down flush with this um, i'm going to just kind of work a lot of it away so i'm not block sanding forever but then i'm going to come through this is also 120 get it a little bit more close to flush with that and then i'll switch over to like a 220 or 320 on the same block <laughs> now i'm switching over to a 220 grit on my block Do you guys see a rubber ducky? All right, so I went ahead and I masked the back side of the hood off because whenever I clear coat this, I do want to wrap the clear coat around the edge. So that's the reason why I left a little thin line basically exposed all the way around. Reason being, I just, I want the clear coat to wrap around so that like moisture can't get underneath it and start causing it to chip around the edges. I know you guys have seen that before. Now also in the future, whenever we do finally get some more paint for Braven's car, the idea is to color match the backside. I really want to do that right now dude i just i feel like that would be just a really cool little touch you know what i'm saying whenever you pop the hood and it'd be color matched now flipping it back over to the top i've actually masked off the body lines on this and the reason being is because i'm going to like kind of lightly hit it with some black no i wasn't going for like a custom effect with this so that, that that's not the reason behind it um, I'm hoping that it just kind of blends in and just just looks natural. You know, what I mean maybe even amplifies like that body line a little bit more But I really don't want the fact that we're spraying it black to stand out but we kind of have to do this because 
there was a little boo-boo right here when sanding. Kind of went all the way through the gel coat, all the way through the freaking carbon fiber into the fiberglass in the back. So in order to fix that, I was kind of thinking it, uh, like I would try to just kind of mist that with some black and then clear coat it, but that's really going to stand out. So my idea here is to just go, um, I mean, luckily it was right there, is um, we're just going to kind of mist this with some black and then peel it so that that doesn't stand out like a sore thumb and then go ahead and clear coat over it and it'll basically just it'll only be on that body line like basically where there would be a shadow at anyhow i don't know i'm hoping it looks all right i i sat there for about an hour trying to make sure to get these damn lines the same on both sides like it was a freaking nightmare i'm not gonna lie All right, guys. I think we're all I think we're all ready, man. Um, finally, get to use my new spray gun. I'm super stoked about this. So uh, this clear coat is a, a four to one mix ratio. So we're gonna mix four parts of the actual clear and one part of the hardener. So I have my mixing cup here. So then you just look for right here. It says four one one. So then it just shows you where to pour it up to. So. I don't know, I'm probably gonna mix like half of this. But yeah, just gonna get this all mixed up and then um, we'll take care of the dust one more time, make sure there's no dust on the hood and then start spraying. Dude, I haven't used a spray gun that sprays this nice since I had my Seda, bro, like years ago. God, I wish I would have painted Braven's car with this. This would have saved us so much freaking wet sanding, bro. I can't even put it into words how good this gun sprays. But um, I went ahead and I took it all apart, got every single bit of all the clear coat out of it, um, and then put it all back together. It's all covered in fingerprints right now. I need a clean rag so I can actually rub her down, you know what I'm saying? But. <laughs> Anyhow, that's it, man. I don't want to get above the hood. Like, whenever something is really wet like this, I don't like to get above it. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it came out pretty freaking amazing, dude. I'm really glad that you can't see that spot. And honestly, you can't even tell that there's black stripes there at all. Yeah, you guys already know, that's going to have to dry. Check on it tomorrow. Here, tomorrow the next day, we're going to have to pull it out, wet sand it, buff it, get it all like, like a mirror, bro. Then get it installed on Braven's car, but go ahead and shut that off. Speaking of Braven, let's go see what he's doing. I think he was putting the mirrors together. Yep, it's already freaking dark. Lovely. Freaks come out at night. 
<laughs> Can't wait to get this thing going. Where are you at with this? Right, Nowhere. Go where this goes. Dude, are you kidding me? This? Yeah. This whole time I'm just gonna look at a diagram and see where that goes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ace is just chilling, waiting for Braven to finish up the mirrors. Then um, I figured we'd go ahead and install the mirrors on the car. Unfortunately, we ran out of daylight once again. But once we get the mirrors installed, then I'll give you guys a really quick walk around of the car. Obviously, it's not going to be the greatest thing in the world because don't have no sunlight, but I really like how this came out. I mean, you get a better feel for how it's going to look once it's on the car. But with the actual base being black and then the mirror being color matched, could you imagine just putting black mirrors on this car? It just wouldn't look right, right? Dude, that trim black looks so freaking good, man. So tell me that don't look better than that gloss spray paint you had on there. It does. <laughs> exactly. Sheesh. You better get a ug a chug on that. Oh no, I just can't really get it. Oh my god. Oh hot boy, what you know about that? Dude. You know about that? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. I really dig the black. Like the the whole two tone mirror thing. Like I think that looks I think that looks really good. Alright, one more side, and then we'll show you the car finally with the bumpers and everything on it. Whew, I can't wait to actually get the carbon fiber hood on, bro. It's gonna be like, bro, mm, you know what? You know I just realized? Forgot to clear coat this freaking thing with your hood. It needs to be sprayed, bro. This thing is dull. Like, it looks good, but it's dull. It is dull. Like, yeah, it, it needs, to, needs to be glossy like the hood. Like, dude. Ah, <laughs> man. Yeah, we gotta hit that. All right, so there's a few things that we still need to get. Braven ordered some clips for this, correct? Yeah. So he was missing the clips for this one. Um, do you have clips coming for this? No? I have a well, few. We have like half of the clips that we need for this little like side molding piece that goes around the window. That's kind of the reason why we've been waiting on putting these windows in because those clips go underneath the glass. So we've been trying to find those. We might need to go and try to get them off a junkyard, at a junkyard. See, the, the thing is, is even the parts DA out there, they were really brittle and breaking. Bravens were really brittle and broke when he was taking them off. So he has like, literally has like half of them that he needs. Yeah, so we're trying to find those clips so we can get this glass in. Uh, he found these ones and he ordered them and they're on their way. We still have to clear coat that rear wing piece to go right here. The hood's gotta dry and we're gonna wet sand it and everything and buff it before we put it on. So that thing is like glass. There's still a lot, there's still quite a bit. It's really close, but there's still quite a bit that needs to be done. But here it is so far. Perfect. That's it so far, man. We, like I said, we still do have quite a bit that we gotta do to the car. Um, we're waiting on a couple of little things here and there to really get it all buttoned up. But it's really, dude, it's really coming together, man. I just, there's not an angle that you look at this car that just doesn't have you like, bro, I need to pull my phone out and take a picture. <laughs>
Dude, just look at that. Especially, dude, look at the mirrors now. That is sick. That is so freaking sick. But all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Once again, um, of course, I'll see you again tomorrow. I'm trying to keep this streak going. Tomorrow, I may be picking up on Khaki or maybe the EP3. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing tomorrow, so just stay tuned. We'll figure it out. Peace. Later there, Rughead. This is DA Garage, bro. There's no way you're working on anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah.